And let us now go all the way up to the Big Land and say good morning to a gentleman who I had the pleasure of meeting when he was in town for Dr. Bernander's presentation on the North Spur stability and solutions available, if possible. Uh, proud, proud member of the Big Land and Labrador community, also one of the guys who was arrested as one of the protesters. Jim Learning, good morning. Jim, you're on the air. Good morning, Patty. How are you doing? I'm very well this morning, my friend. How about you? Good, thanks. I just want to say that that brave lady you were just talking to, good on her. Absolutely right. Annie's lovely. And for those of us who live with that thing, we know what it's like. So, Are you a cancer survivor, Jim? <laughs> I still have it. I haven't done anything with oh, it. Oh, was that right? I've kept mine for all these years, for 20-odd years now. It's getting a little more aggressive every, you know, every so often, but uh, hey, I just don't want to go through the conventional treatment. Anyway, not about me. I want to talk about the flag this morning. Okay, let's do exactly that. Listen, uh, you know, I wish all the best health-wise, and let's go ahead and talk about the flag. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you know, here we are. We're getting the announcement uh, all of a sudden that uh, PCs are going to put the... First, they weren't going to put the flag up. Now they're going to uh, put the flag up officially. But uh, I just want to know it right away, Patty, that that's not official. Just putting the flag up is not doesn't make it official. Uh, you, you know more about this than me. I'm not a in any way educated to the government processes that you are. But uh, to make that official, it has to be a, a bill in the House, and then everybody has to vote on it, and then it becomes official, as I've been told. So that that aside, it's good to see the flag going up. But the combined councils asked for this in 2006, and they were twice they, they tried to get in to get the flag up on the border because it was Labrador. And uh, they were denied, flatly denied. Never happened. All of a sudden, when we just decided to go ahead and take the bull by the horns and do the thing, now it becomes, I think, a political uh, convenience for them to say, okay, we're going to do it. You can have your flag, but still not official. Well, I guess that might be the next move. I have no idea. I can't speak for them because I have no earthly idea what they're going to do on that front. So for you as a proud Labradorian, until it's made official, then it's simply political convenience. It doesn't have the impact or the importance that you would associate with a bill in the House and a perm place on the flagpole. Well, I, I'm okay with it the way it is if they never made it official okay. with me because it's the Newfoundland government. I mean, this is Labrador. I always separate the two because I think we, we haven't, like you said, you haven't been asked and neither have I whether if it could be Newfoundland or Labrador. So, but I think for most of the people out there, they feel better if it was made official. So... And I'm not speaking to the people. I can't do that. I've never... Jordan Brown is the spokesperson for the flag. He lives in Lab City. He's uh, president of the Labrador Heritage Society. Right. And we just took the bull by the horn and went and did our thing and uh, with the hope to, that it would come to this, actually, where they would put up a proper pole and a proper flag and acknowledge the people of Labrador and by way of ceremony when they do this and simply not just have officials go there but have, have the people on the hill and, and, and on the borders as well. That, that's what I would hope to see. Yeah, I don't know what's going to come on that front, but obviously between yourself and Jordan and many others who were uh, advocates for having the flag flown in the first place, I assume that that's not going to go away. The fight, well, not the fight, the plea, the advocacy work is just beginning until it gets official status, and I understand why. And I don't know what the issue would be for government to not fly it up there. If it's important to the people in Labrador, we already have a growing divide between the island and Labrador. It seems like it's a pretty sensible maneuver. Jim, do things like this, can they make a real difference? You and I have talked about this many times. The growing disillusion of Labradorians uh, when it comes to what the island gets and the operation of government, investment in Labrador. Is any of this going to solve anything or is this just piecemeal stuff that really has no impact? Oh, no, I, I think eventually it will come to a head because the kids are becoming more aware of uh, what uh, what they're not getting. Uh, like, if you look at Hope the other day with their water problem, uh, the kids are thinking, well, you know, everybody else can take a shower, I can't, and they're mad about it, and where the parents are saying, well, that's all they're going to give us because the older people tend to do that. So I think that's going to be the, uh, the big shift eventually. But, uh, no, we're, it's... We'll piecemeal it for a while. It's very hard because we're we're divided by what is convenient for the government. Uh, I, I don't say this cynically. This is this is a fact. Whatever is convenient for the government to do with Labrador, as the government on the Avalon, they have to do. Mm -hmm. The St. John's Board of Trade calls the day, so it's time for us to change the water. As Cabot Martin would say, change the water on them beans. Right. That's up to us. 
Well, Jim, it's, uh, it, will, it, it will change. We will have we will have our flag, and we will be we will be united. Absolutely, we will. Just like I said, the flag would go up. It's going up. Not not to brag or boast or anything, but that's just a natural progression, isn't it, of a people being aware of who they are. Oh, I think so, and I think this was a, you know, whether there be people who are for and against Muskrat or anything else, that's all just their own personal agenda and whether or not they get a job there or any of those types of things. The fact when you have the vast majority, if not everybody in Labrador, feeling a certain kinship and association or affiliation with that flag, and it's appropriate to have it on the flagpole, why not? If it's important to the people of Labrador, I don't know what the big deal would be here on the island. I'm certainly not offended. Some people are, but I don't know what the problem is. Do they think that... Labradorians uh, complain too much or exaggerate their complaints, that might be their position. But on the flag, I think it's a pretty fundamental, obvious, and easy decision to make. Put it up, and if a bill is required to make it permanent and official, let's do that too. Why not? Absolutely. Thank you very much for that, because this is Labrador Flag Day again, and March the 31st, so we're celebrating it. That little bit of it as well, I guess. And uh, good luck with your haircut. Thanks very much, Jim. Talk again soon. You bet. All Thanks. the best. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah, I mean, I've said many times, I get the emails from the big land where people say I just misunderstand the issues and I don't get the culture and heritage tradition, the affinity with the land, all that stuff. I try to, but it's impossible if I don't live there and I'm not from there. And do are some of the issues exaggerated? Maybe. It should it be every dollar out is a has to be reflected by a dollar in so far as investment goes? I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know what part of the province enjoys that. But on the flag issue, I think it's obvious. And I think it's an easy one. It should be no big deal. And it can be done politically. If it's treated like a political hot potato, it won't get any reasonable or meaningful results so far as lessening the rift between the island and the big land. And if it needs to be official for it to be firmly ingrained as a outreach and an awareness and acknowledgement of Labrador's importance to the province, and it is, and so is the island to Labrador, then let's go ahead and do it. So happy Flag Day to everyone in Labrador once again today.